Hello, hello and welcome, dear viewers. In today's video, we'll be diving deep into the life and legacy of Francisco Franco, the infamous Spanish dictator who ruled the nation from 1939 to 1975. We'll explore his rise to power, the impact of his authoritarian regime, and the contentious debates surrounding his place in Spain's history. So grab a seat, and let's get started on this fascinating journey through time. Born on December 4, 1892, in Ferrol, Spain, Francisco Franco emerged as a formidable military officer before seizing control as the nation's dictator from 1939 to 1975. Commanding the nationalist forces in the Spanish Civil War, he would come to define an era characterized by political repression, economic expansion, and rigid social conservatism. Hailing from a lineage of naval officers, young Francisco Franco Bahamond broke tradition by pursuing a career in the army. At merely 14 years of age, he enrolled in Toledo's prestigious Infantry Academy. By 1912, he found himself in Spanish Morocco, embroiled in the Rift War, demonstrating exceptional tactical acumen, unyielding bravery, and a ruthless streak. Franco swiftly climbed the ranks, achieving the distinction of Europe's youngest general at just 33. The 1930s saw Spain's political landscape descend into chaos, marred by weak governments, strikes, and uprisings. Amidst this turmoil, the Spanish Second Republic emerged in 1931, only to be beset by opposition from the far right and far left. In a faithful move, Franco and other military officers instigated a coup against the Republic in July 1936, plunging the nation into the devastating Spanish Civil War. As the nationalist forces unyielding commander, Franco garnered support from conservative elements, the Catholic Church, and the nefarious fascist Italy and Nazi Germany. The brutal conflict, responsible for hundreds of thousands of casualties, culminated in nationalist triumph in April 1939. Subsequently, Franco assumed the mantle of head of state. Under Franco's iron-fisted rule, an authoritarian regime took shape, stifling political dissent, manipulating the media, and relentlessly pursuing adversaries. Executions and imprisonments became commonplace, with the defeated Republican faction bearing the brunt. Franco's government championed nationalism, Catholicism, and traditional values, often to the detriment of women and regional identities. Throughout World War II, Franco maintained a veneer of neutrality, albeit while discreetly supporting the Axis powers, even permitting German U-boats to utilize Spanish ports. In the post-war era, Spain grappled with international isolation and economic woes. Yet, Franco adeptly steered the nation towards the United States and other Western countries. In the 1960s, Franco's regime pivoted towards economic liberalization, embracing market-driven policies that catalyzed rapid industrialization and development. This transformative period, dubbed the Spanish Miracle, saw Spain evolve from an impoverished agrarian society to a thriving urbanized economy. Nevertheless, social and political repression persisted, attracting widespread criticism for human rights abuses. As he aged, Franco endeavored to secure his regime's continuity by appointing Prince Juan Carlos de Bourbon as his successor in 1969. However, following Franco's death on November 20, 1975, Spain embarked on a peaceful transition towards democracy under King Juan Carlos I. The legacy of Francisco Franco is indelibly etched into Spain's history. It remains a subject of intense debate. Although his regime propelled Spain's economic growth, it simultaneously inflicted tremendous suffering through political oppression, censorship, and human rights violations. In grappling with its past, Spain continues to reckon with this polarizing figure. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Francisco Franco's life and the era he defined in Spanish history. We hope you found this video insightful and thought-provoking. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit the like button and feel free to share your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. Remember to subscribe for more engaging content on history, politics, and other intriguing topics. Until next time, take care and see you in the next video.